What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making chili. That's right, chili. One of my all-time favorites. This is the ultimate comfort food. Awesome for football games. Awesome for any kind of gathering. I know we're not gathering them right now, but man, I know it's getting cold up north and chili is the way to go for sure. So stick around, check out my recipe. You'll love it. I love it. I've been doing it for many, many, many years. So if you're new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all your support. We are really growing fast and it could not have been done without you guys. We love it. We love you. Thank you all so much. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, we start off with our meat. We're gonna use half 80-20 chuck beef and half sausage. And this one I used about three quarters of a pound each. You just wanna take these and make some patties with them. I know, we're not making hamburgers, <laughs> but there's a method to my madness, trust me. So make some patties, they do not have to look pretty. You don't have to press them too hard, but you wanna make some patties. Same thing with the sausage. In this case, I used two brats and two kielbasa. That's what I had left over, so that's what I used. You can use any kind of sausage you want. It works great. You just want to slice off the skins or the casings, take them out, uh, and then same thing. You want to make some sausage patties with these. Again, nothing fancy. Does not have to look perfect at all. Uh, this is just so we can brown them up on the outside so you can see here we have these looking good not really <laughs> that's okay uh, here I decided to cut this one in half again this is just for <laughs> for the future here we go so here we go we have our sausage patties and our beef patties we start off with the beef patties you want this on pretty high heat like medium high to high heat and you want to smash these down almost like a smash burger not quite like a smash burger but you want to push down on the patties okay and then you want to let them sit for a good while see that's not brown enough we want these nice and brown almost burnt on the bottom and there's a reason why so after about literally four or five minutes that's when we turn them over and this is what we're looking for right there that is beautiful that right there is the Maillard reaction it's a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars that gives brown food its distinctive flavors that is the flavor that's the same as searing a steak that's why they do it because it gives it tremendous flavor that's why we're doing this here with the chili so once we get those done, they are looking absolutely beautiful. Here's a little close up. That brown, dark brown right there, tremendous flavor. We take them off and we put them into our chili pot. We leave all that oil behind and we're going to throw the sausage patties right in after. So the sausage patties are gonna get a little bit more of that oil. Um, which is tremendous flavor as well. And we do the same thing. We speed it up here. So basically same thing. We push them down. We let them uh, brown up just like the other ones. And after a good four or five minutes, we flip them over and boom, look at that. <laughs> These look even better than the beef. Look at that browning. That is tremendous flavor, which is gonna take our chili to the next level. So after they're done, same thing on the other side, we put these into our chili pot as well. Leave that oil behind, we don't need it, and that's what it looks like. Now we start the chopping process. So now we give it a rough chop to distribute that wonderful flavor. And after we're done, this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. All right, time to add the ingredients. Diced tomato, 14 and a half ounce can. Tomato sauce up next, eight ounce can of that. Pinto beans, 14 to 16 ounce can. 
These are all in the description below. Bacon bits. Fresh bacon is preferred, but if you only have a jar, that's fine. A nice little handful. Some Tabasco, a good teaspoon of Tabasco. This is up to your preference, however you want to do it. Then you take a pack of your chili seasoning, whichever one you like best. Throw it in there. A package of Sazon. Give it that Latin flavor. This stuff is awesome if you've never tried it before. Crushed red pepper, teaspoon of that. A little bit more spice. A teaspoon of cumin. Again, a little more Latin flavor in there. And then salt, pepper, garlic, a tablespoon of that. Finally, a third of a beer, whatever beer you want, which will bring it all together because you can't eat some chili without any beer, right? <laughs> whether you're drinking it or eating it. So you throw a little beer in there, you mix it up, and now you want to get that heat up to a boil and then lower it to a simmer just like so and let that sucker cook for a good half hour to an hour or longer. Those flavors will marry and that's when you have magic right there. So it is time. This chili is done. I can smell it. I can taste it. It's looking great. Let's go check it out. Hoo-wee! <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this chili. It is beautiful. It's hot. It's loaded with flavor. It was super easy. And I cannot wait. All right. So I definitely like cheese on my chili. So we're going to add just a little bit in some cheddar we're gonna mix this up a little bit oh yeah the smell is just crazy how good this smells right now we're gonna get that cheese melted i got some rice on the bottom you can't see it but i added some rice down there as well because that's how i like it look at that the rice Get some of that up in there so you can see that. Oh man, <laughs> this looks too good. All right, we are going to eat this right now. We're gonna give it a taste. But of course, first, a close up. Oh yeah. Look at that. That looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough talking. I've been waiting for a while. We got to give this a bite. And we got a nice cold beer to go with it as well. So here we go. A little cheese. Mmm. Man, the flavor is outstanding. Absolutely. Mm. It's got some kick. <coughs> Hold on. It's got some kick. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little spicy, but you can tone it down a little bit on the cayenne and some of the other things. Mm. But let me tell you, The flavor is ridiculous. It is so good. All right, one more bite and then I'm done. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is phenomenal. Everybody, give this recipe a shot. It's different, it's not your typical chili. It's not crazy like some of these people putting chocolate in these different things, but it's definitely different. It tastes phenomenal. Those pinto beans are creamy. They're not hard. They're not that dense material or not that dense consistency like kidney beans. I like them better myself. Give it a shot. I'll tell you right now, you will not regret it. So give it a try. 
Tell me how you like it. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.